Hello and welcome to another episode of Beard and Horror Review. My name is Dan, aka The Boogie Man, and we've got another interview for you today. And I am here joined by Simon. How are you doing, mate? You all right? Yeah, I'm good, mate. Yeah, I'm having, I'm having a good day, even though it's uh, raining here. It's, uh, it's all good. Yeah, yeah brilliant. Right. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's Britain. It's going to be raining at some point during the day. So. Yeah, like the old UK, isn't it? Yeah, it's brilliant. So for those who don't know who you are, do you want to introduce yourself, yeah, Simon? No one. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're someone to somebody. You're someone to me. So, oh, stop it. We ain't just met, are we? I know. Um, well, I am Simon, as you stated, and um, I'm a, like, a B movie horror actor. Do all these weird, wacky B movies, like really low budget. Um, yeah. The one I'm probably known, someone, someone recognised me, is Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, which has mm-hmm. gone very viral. Mm-hmm. Kind of big, but yeah, I mean, aside that, I've done some done some weird stuff. What I call weird, yeah. well, mum calls weird. My mum calls weird anyway. <laughs> are you dying? Are you dying today, Simon? Uh, yeah, I'm dying, mum. Right, that's it. I'm not watching. I ain't nah, nah, watching that. <laughs> I mean, and my yeah. son's like, yes, mate, yes, yes. My son's, are you gonna die, Dad? I was like, well, this is how I'm gonna die, and I, I love it. <laughs> I love it. I mean, I had to. I, I mean, I dressed appropriately for B movies because. B movies are the best kind of horror movies. Yeah, that's it. I mean, I've I've grew up watching horrors, but like B movies mm. a lot. I just love them, and to be part of them now, it's like, mm. yes, yeah, it's, it's like you know, pretty surreal sometimes. I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, I I I just do this, and the fact that I've been doing this for a little bit, I mean, to speak to guys like yourself who actually act in these movies, I think it's awesome. So yeah. let's go for it. So, like you said, you most people know you probably for Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Um, yeah. but I always like to ask one go back and like, so what was your first experience? What got you into horror? Horror got me into horror. Mm. Like, um, I'm gonna say it's probably way back, like the Halloween films, mm. maybe a maybe a touch of uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, which the really really used to scare me as a kid. I was like, still got to watch them, but they used to really scare me, yeah. And even now, even now, at my age now, we've got like. Mm. Someone says, oh, you're going to watch Freddy? I'm like, yeah, well, I'm still a bit wary. Like, I'm like, no, nah, I just can't do it in case I fall asleep when he gets me. Yeah. But um, my early, my earliest is probably Halloween. One yeah. of my favourite friends. Good. I mean, same here. I think Halloween is probably a lot of people's first kind of entryway into the genre. Yeah. It's just a, it's just a classic, I do, that's I why. Remember, I do remember Driller Killer. I think it was banned back in the day. Do you remember that? Driller yeah, it Killer. was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sparked off the whole. Sort of it's not the whole video nasty thing. Yeah. Sorry, I think there's a delay, which is we're going to end up doing that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, oh, Driller Kill. I mean, I, I, yeah, it was like 1970 something or other, I think. Yeah, I just have vivid memories of that. It was like, yeah. <laughs> Great. I mean, so I mean, I've I've been going through your IMDb and like you're always working, you're always doing something or other. I mean, I can see you've got like tw- it says you've got 23 upcoming projects already. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah i'm always hustling mate yeah just like just looking for the next next big thing and mm. just trying to trying to get that one where i'm like yeah this is good but um yeah i'm always doing something i'm always jumping on one of these b-movie horrors and having a great death yeah i love my death movies. i feel like that's <laughs> i mean if i was ever in a horror movie i would want i just do it for the death i'd want to be killed yeah, in a sometimes, spectacular way sometimes Sometimes it like it comes in. I go right. This is your character. This is how you're gonna die. Sign me up. I'm there. <laughs> I mean, yeah, so speaking of that, like you said, you that's how you get into those ones. But what got you into acting in general? Why, why the acting? Um, I've always wanted to do it since I was a teenager. And hmm. then I played football, and then I had a real job and had kids, and I sort of left it for a long time. And I've done my martial arts for a very long time. Hmm. I thought right now I'm getting a little bit older. I'm going to try and do it before no one cares or I'm too old, can't lift my leg up. You know what I mean? No one cares. Yeah. And I, what is it? My son knew someone that was working on a film called Accident Man. Mm. And uh, the main guy is called Scott Atkins, who's a martial artist fan. I, I just love his work. Yeah, I love Scott Atkins. My son said, oh, me, me dad loves him. Get him on there just as an extra. So I was like, yeah, I'll do that. So I was at a funeral scene, just moping about at West Ham Cemetery. Got, got to meet Scott on set. And from then, I was just, so I thought, I'd just love to do it. And that was back in November 2016. Oh, and nice. from then, I've just been hooked and just like done a lot of short films to get experience. 
a lot of, lot of stuff for free just so I can learn, just all about learning. Yeah. So that's, yeah. Awesome. I mean, it's it's yeah. looking at your work, like the, like the amount of stuff that you've done, you wouldn't have think it's only been 2016, but... Yeah, I mean, I mean, even then, I've done that in 2016 and left it another couple of years and got a real <laughs> job, another real job. So it's only been like coming up four years that I've done it solid. And yeah, I've been, I've been lucky. I've been lucky to do the stuff that I've, I've done. Yeah, uh, definitely. I mean, I mean, I'm so glad that you feel that way because I feel a lot of people kind of think horror is just like, oh, acting's like, oh, it's a gateway. I've got, to, I'll do this and just, I, I want to get famous and stuff. But it seems like you just enjoy it. Yeah, I mean, you know, fame's all good, I suppose. Sometimes hmm. it might not be good. But I mean, I'm not, not in it for the fame. I'm in it for, to be creative. Yeah. I just love doing it. I love being on set. I love meeting people and just just being out of myself for a lot of whatever time and just being another character. And yeah, mm. for me, like fame and money is all great and gram- glamorous, but for me, it's, you know, it's the creativeness. Yeah. And that's really good to see. I mean, I can see, I, I mean, I remember you sticking out when I watched Winnie the Pooh, mainly because you look a bit like me, I think. Well, yeah, <laughs> Shaved got, head and a beard. Like, is it was it a brother from another than my mother or something? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I think the last guy I am to, uh, you know, if you've been to for the love of horror, do you know of the full? Do you know of that? that conven- do you know of the convention for the love of horror? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so I interviewed Neil, who uh, does all the announcements from that, and okay, he's got yeah. a beard and a shaved head, and I think that's just <laughs> everyone I'm going to be talking to now. I think it's the best look to have, mate. To be fair, yeah. I mean, come on. The girls love it. Exactly. It's a good look. It, <laughs> it grows on you, just not on your head. <laughs> yeah. Everywhere That's... else, your toes. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> like Sasquatch from the chin down. Oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> so <laughs> you said like your martial arts and stuff and doing like, things like that. So, yeah. What about. So, the act inside of it with the physicality, what is it that actually draws you to that? Um, so I've done, I've done kickboxing for mm. what, 16 years on and off. I uh, achieved my black belt and had a few clubs with my brother in Essex. Won a couple of titles, Southern Area, back in the day when I was younger. I used to be able to climb walls and jump jump off stuff. But um, yeah, now I can adapt it to the film, which mm. is... Which is great, really. So I've done a lot of fight scenes on on films, and hmm. I get to set up a few fight scenes, like the fight choreography. I just done that that for Cinderella's Curse, hmm. where I was um, dressed up as a scarecrow, just doing some fight scenes, and oh, nice. Uh, yeah. oh, that's yeah. great. I mean, a lot of people think that there's a there's there's not as much physicality in these roles than you actually do like a lot of people that always oh, editing and cutting and stuff like that but you are actually very physical when you're doing these roles yeah i mean yeah when i you know come up with the other actor if they want to go a bit full on not lot like you know all the way in but to make yeah. it look a bit more a bit more realistic like you know pull the punches but yeah if they're, if they're up for a you know a, i say a proper scrap <laughs> then otherwise it's just like camera angles but yeah it's, it's, it can be very physical i mean i'm getting old now i'm not as not as young as I used to be, but you don't look a day over twenty-one. Yeah. Oh, stop it! I'm, yeah. a, I'm a lot of days over twenty-one. <laughs> yeah, too. I think I think I could still get my leg up, and I can still have a good old good old bundle. Good man, good. And so I think I mean I'm going to have to ask you about your experience on Winnie the Pooh because that's the one that everyone oh. kind of <laughs> thinks about. Go on. Go on. So how how did you get in? How did you get end up on that project? <laughs> Um, well, I started with the guys like Jagged Edge Productions. My mm. first film was called The Killing Tree. Mm. And it was obviously a 30-foot Christmas tree, Christmas party, killing everyone. No, I great death. Cheers. <laughs> I, remember the, I remember the killing tree. <laughs> yep. And then I've got a few more offers of more from these guys, B-movies. And then it's just come up. They, I think they've, they've shot the film. And it was getting quite a lot of hype. And they thought, oh, we're going to try and make this a little bit better. This, this like, changed the ending. And I was just pulled in with three other guys to do this, like, fight scene at the end. Hmm. And we filmed it in the woods in Sussex, if I remember rightly. One night shoot. Yeah. yeah, and that was it. I mean, I was just, yeah, I was lucky to be pulled in on a reshoot, really. Oh, really? That's, that was one night, that whole scene? It was one night shoot. One night shoot. I think we started around 
just before it was getting dark, say nine ish, and then we had to try and get it all done before daylight. So, oh, wow. I think yeah, like ten, twelve hours maybe what I remember. Oh, awesome! I mean, I, I didn't, I could, I didn't even think that was a reshoot. It doesn't look like one. It doesn't look like it took one night either. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I was just there, yes, yeah, there, just there for one night, and right. hopefully it's, that's what they wanted to try and make it a little bit better at the end. But some people like it, and some people don't. But yeah. I mean, that's movies. yeah, that's that, movies. exactly. That's movies. But the fact that you got to do it and yeah, it's great. I mean, it seems like it's done a lot for yourself. Like, like I said, people recognize I mean, you from it. I mean, to be fair, if I wasn't in that, I probably wouldn't be talking to you, would I? No, exactly. No, <laughs> uh, I don't think uh, you yeah. might not be. So it's it, like I said, that's it's done. I'm done. I've done a couple of conventions, like the signings. I'm opening up a museum in Stoke in October. All yep. on the on the back of this Winnie the Pooh, I think. So I'm yeah. I'm grateful. I mean, that's where I am. I'm in Stoke. So hopefully I'll be able to be there and I'll probably hopefully get to bump Walk into down. you. You know where it is, seventh October. Get down. There you go. Yeah. That's, I was gonna ask you to do that plug anyway, so you've already done it. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I'll do great. it again because that was a bit that was that wasn't so good. So uh, we'll do a proper one, don't you worry. Right, guys, pop down to the Museum of Horrors, Stoke on Trent, seventh October, ten AM. I'll be there. So will this guy. I definitely will. <laughs> I definitely am going to be there. I love that kind of stuff. And the fact that one's coming to my hometown, I love it. Yeah. I second time being in Stoke, it would have been. So I like oh. it. Well, all the way so Essex what? to Stoke. Essex to, well, um, yeah. Essex to Stoke. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So awesome. And so upcoming projects, like I said, I saw you got 23 coming up. Any that you're really I've, excited about? Yeah, I've, uh, well, I've, there's one, I've, there's two I've filmed recently mm. called uh, Pterodactyl 2. And I was the main, not the main villain, and I'm trying to um, get all these soldiers to try and make out they're the best so we can go in and get these eggs. But really, they're the worst. And I'm just trying to get these eggs to sell and make loads of money. Like, I'm a bit of a double crosser. Ah, uh, so you, looking forward you to fiend. That I am. With my good friend Jace Rivers, he's uh, he's my friend of twenty five years in it, and I just I just screw him over. Sorry, Jace. <laughs> well, and, how um, could you, man? How could you? All for some eggs. I mean, oh no, all over some some dinosaur eggs that probably were fifty p. Yeah. Well, yeah and another, another one called Shockwaves Two. Mm -hmm. He's like an earthquake movie, and it's like a home invasion surrounding that, and I'm part of three home invaders that just Try and terrorise people. So there, there's two I've filmed recently that I I want to see put out. Awesome. I mean, I, I, when I was going through IMDb, I definitely, Pterodactyl 2 did stand out to me. I was like, I'm, I don't know why, but I want to see this. Well, yes, yeah, it's just another, another silly dinosaur movie. Yeah, and they're, the, they're the best kind. I love anything. If it's silly plus dinosaur, I will be watching it. You're there. You're going to watch yeah, it. 100%. Cool. Great, st great stuff, man. So, yeah, I mean, I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to me and and having this little chat. I mean, I hope people will will go see films more of yours. I'm, I'll definitely make sure that the the museum's linked and it's on Facebook to, where you can buy tickets, right? Um, yeah, and it's on uh, Instagram. I think oh. there's the link on Instagram for it. I think they're selling fast though. So, right, awesome. Well, I'll make sure there's a link down below, and then. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'll make sure more people will go and see some of your movies. Let you have to let me know when they're coming out, so I can yeah. make sure my listeners know. A few that are due for release, so I've had a I've had a few that have come my way on, on a sneaky Vimeo link, so I can't really share them. Oh no, films like Monster Nado and Dinosaur Prison. Oh, those titles alone, I love them. Oh no, that's what I'm saying. That's that's got to do these films. I just got to do them. I know. I feel that's a, that's the reason why I watched Winnie the Pooh. It's just the name. Blood and Honey. I was like, I'm, I don't care if it's good or bad. I'm watching it, regardless of the rest yeah. of the film. I'm watching that. Did you like Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey? So I will be yeah. honest. Like it's it's it yeah. was hit and miss. Like there was some good bits in it that I liked, but there was some bits that I thought it was just yeah, it it wasn't the best. But you know that's B movies at the end of the day. But yeah. there's bits that stood out to me. The ending stood out to me. That's kind of I was like, hey, it's the guy from the ending. Hmm? More death scene was the best. Yeah, I loved watching you die. Yeah, <laughs> when you died, I loved it. I loved it so much. 
It made the film. It was like, oh, this is all right. This is all right. So, oh my god, look, yeah, that's that's it. I'm sold, mate. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I did enjoy. I, it's just the, it was the kills. I did enjoy the kills. I just think like there was just bits in between. I was like, it could have yeah. sped up a bit, but you know, that's everyone's preference. I know some people that love it. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's yeah, there's people that are just like in love with it, aren't they? But. Mm. Yeah, but that's that's a, that's a lot of reason I watch horror movies for the deaths. I mean, the Saw franchise. Mm. I just watch them to see how they different ways they can kill people. I'm yeah. all about. I said I said to my son, right, I'm going to watch this horror movie, and I'm hoping for another death that's not been done. That is, mm. that's a lot when I watch a horror movie. Yeah, I want to see creativity when I see a horror movie. Yeah, yeah. that's what I enjoy. Yeah, I mean, you can get stabbed, you get your head cut off. You can, you know, you need something a little bit. Yeah. Think outside the box. Like yeah. yeah. Are you going to yeah. see the new one? Saw 10. What, new... Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, I see the trailer. I thought, yeah, it looks all right. Yeah. I'm going to go and see that. Yeah. I definitely am. So that one's then. And then a month later, we're getting Five Nights at Freddy's. Ah. It's, it's funny you should mention it. Oh, is it? I've just, oh, yeah. I've just filmed I've just recently, about three weeks ago, a film, same production company. It's called Freddy's Fridays. And. I think it's got a similar similar idea to what you just mentioned, but I just play some creepy guy called Big Willie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Big Willie yeah. name, I'm, Big Willie by nature, or I mean, I I just took that role because of the name. I mean, come on. <laughs> I wouldn't. I don't blame you. Like Simon or my my Sid, my nickname Sid. Do you want to do this role? Yeah, what we're we talking about? Freddy's Fridays. Uh, Big Willie. Yes, again, sign me up, please. <laughs> and I will get to do a scene with my good friend Daniel Scott. Who has been in loads of these films, mm. and um, yeah, I thought well, I'm going to do that, and I was just creeping around her, which she actually loved. Awesome. I mean, I've mean, <laughs> looked on your end. Sometimes you're under Sid Roach, aren't you? Yeah, Sid Roach. Um, yeah, I use that for a few credits. Mm. That name come from my son because my son used to be in a band, and I used to be on tour with him. And so I said, "Oh, hey, dad, dad, do do me drum kit, You're like right, Sid," because there was a certain photo of Sid Wilson from Slipknot. And he went, oh, yeah. you look like him. He went, I don't, it's a skull. I don't look nothing like him. That, that, that's your nickname, mate, Sid. And it became <laughs> a thing. Came a thing for years. He never called me dad for years on tour. Sid, Sid, yeah, whatever, mate. And then Roach, he's been my favourite band ever, Papa Roach. So I went, Pring, put them together. Well, I mean, that both great choices from your son and yourself. Works really well. Yes, I've got, I've got him to thank, I suppose, for that. <laughs> thank God. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. But yeah, thank you so much, mate. I'll, I'll let you go. Uh, you can go back to your your family and out out of your man cave. I'm afraid. I'll probably go back to cooking chicken nuggets to my daughter. That's probably what I'll be doing. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay. Like, well, every ten minutes. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Noodles and nuggets. <laughs> I mean, what? That's the, the the diet of every child, right? Noodles and nuggets. Or more, more on toast. This is you know. Oh, I can't get behind that. I'm sorry. You've lost me. You've lost me with marmite. <laughs> yeah me too mate <laughs> right, well right, thank you very much mate really appreciate it so if the people want to find you where can they find you online um they can find me i usually my i usually use instagram so uh, simon ellis one two one two um mm. yeah just try and catch me on there check the imdb see what i'm up to yeah give us a cheeky like or a, 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 a friend request but yeah Will do. I, and so I, I'll link it all below as well. But again, thank you so much for joining me, man. And yeah, I really appreciate it. And in that meantime, yeah, you take care. All right, mate. And you. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Bye. See you. Bye.